I'm Jesse, behind the camera is Will, and together we are Top Jaw. We partner with Secret London, Gordon's Gin and Bailey's to bring you our dining guide to Southwark. We're here at Jack's Bar, one of my favourite bar pubs in this area. It's been here for 14 years and not that many people know about it. Nestled away in a little hidden gem. We're about to go in there and meet two social media superstars, share a couple of G&Ts and have some killer Thai food. Go on, Will. Woo! I'm with Ashley of Jack's Bar fame. He's about to show me how to do his signature GT. In with the tonic. With the paper straws, odds. Bang. It's just simple, isn't it? Here you go, girls. One I made earlier. Let me introduce to you Shu and Ellie. They, they, they do what we do, but uh, they're more popular. <laughs> now it's time to uh, tie some food. Ah, uh, guys, so it says here that uh, Gordon's gin is made with four key botanicals, making it an uncomplicated gin and goes particularly well with Thai food. Oh, would you look at that! Now, let me ask you a question. Have you ever followed Thai food with Polish food? Uh, no. no. Do you want to? Yeah, why not? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right, let's go. Get your coats. We're going to try and keep this simple. Baltic first opened in 2001. Let me take you there. Angel by Shaggy was top of the charts in a fierce battle with hearsay. I was chasing <laughs> around primary school and my Tamagotchi was giving me no end of grief. A lot has changed since then, and any restaurant that manages to last 17 years on the floozy London restaurant scene has got to have something about it. We're going to give you our top five reasons why we think Baltic has stood the test of time and why you should most definitely 100% come and have dinner here. Number one, location. We're only about a five minute walk from the Old Vic and Tate Modern, which makes Baltic a great kind of pre-dining place, pre-theatre, pre-museum, which is particularly good if you're trying to impress someone. Number two, interiors. Doesn't look like that much from the outside, but when you go through those double doors, you are greeted with vaulted trust ceilings, clean lines and skylights, which makes dining at Baltic a complete Instagrammer's dream. Number three, cuisine. Baltic specializes in Eastern European food, mainly Polish, and you don't really see that very often. All these dishes have been chosen for us by the owner, John. Big up yourself. We have the Keta Caviar Bellinis. We have Gravelax, which is salmon marinated in vodka. We have the Pelmeni, which is like mini dumplings. We have the Pierogi, which is the bigger dumplings. And then we have the Goulash. Chocolate mousse with rum infused plums. Yeah. We have got vanilla and white chocolate cheesecake. Hungarian chocolate tort slash tart, depending on where you're from. And as it is beyond Baltic outside, couldn't think of anything more perfect. A little Bailey's coffee. Four drinks. Obviously, we're gonna pair our dessert with a delectable Bailey's, but you cannot come to Baltic and ignore the fact they have 70 varieties of vodka on offer. 70. Number five, value. And that brings us on to price. The real key to keeping a London restaurant busy is a returning, loyal customer base. Baltic has a load of business customers who treat this place like their home, but their set menu, pre-theatre and Sunday jazz nights give new customers so many good opportunities to give this place a go. So there we have it, two Southwark veterans. Jack Spar been around for 14 years, Baltic been around for 17 years. Why? Because they're very good at what they do. If you're in this area, so close to Waterloo, so close to London Bridge, come and give them a go. That's it, the end of the episode and the end of our series with Secret London, Gordon's Gin and Bailey's. Big up to those three, a bunch of legends. We've had a lot of fun doing this. And when the light changes green, subscribe to Top Jaw. Has it changed? Ho ho!